New at six, some people who have survived the unthinkable are giving back tonight by helping people who are facing similar challenges. Today, we talked to two men who have survived trauma themselves, now helping existing trauma patients at Vanderbilt Medical Center. Patients are uh, hurting. They are fighting for their lives. They are simply afraid. Several years ago, Douglas Brown wasn't sure if he'd ever be able to work again. He fell out of a two and a half story window landing on a brick sidewalk. But with a lot of help and support, he's now back on his feet. Brown spends every Thursday night at Vanderbilt Hospital visiting with trauma patients. We try to give them encouragement and hope by speaking to them as someone who has been down that road, crossed that bridge already, cause you have something in common that's rare and it's difficult for people who haven't been there to understand. Today, Brown met with the newest trauma volunteer, Justin Chain. Chain is a former contestant on The Voice who was critically injured in a motorcycle accident in 2008. They didn't expect I would ever walk again or be able to use my hands. I was only 18 years old at the time. What should have been like the best years of, of part of my life, you know, definitely kind of went the opposite direction. Chain says he experienced a lot of depression and was even suicidal for for a while, but he never gave up. I was going to do whatever it took to get better. I was going to be proof that life was, was, was worth living. Now, he wants to be a symbol of hope for their families as well. I want to be proof to the people that are going through the trauma, but I think that I also wanted to be proof to their families as well that maybe one day that everything will be okay. And this kind of volunteering isn't just good for the patients and their families. All the things that we judge each other by outside those four walls of that trauma unit do not apply within the trauma unit. There's no rich, no poor, no race, just people trying to live.